get things twisted. This is um original copy of Beyond Lucky. Sent to me about four years ago, out of the blue. I didn't pay for this. I didn't ask for this. So you act like you don't know my name. Two Gully TV. Always be true, always be real. So you spelled my name perfectly right there and shit. This is when you was trying to cut into me with this story. I read some things in here and I just felt that this shit was a little bit out of my league. Unlike anybody else that I have a profile. You actually 100% admitted to these homicides and shit. And it just is a little bit too graphic for me and shit. Uh, later on when I got hit to baby Sam, I wanted to do something on baby Sam. And that probably evolved you, but... I never spoke to you, fam. I can't reach out to you. You on witness protection. So I, I have no way of reaching out to you. I never reached out to you. I don't have no contact information on you. You found me and you was contacting me through WhatsApp. And now you get on this internet pretending like it's something that it's not. But anyway, here's, here's the book that you sent to me when you was on your fanboy shit trying to get me to cover your story and shit. Now you trying to twist it like it's something else. That's neither here nor there, man. I got the receipts right here. Here go your book. And now you're going to make some money because Gully TV talking about you. But it ain't about nothing. My shit be out of the Hey, look, look, listen. Look, look, look at that, folks. Look at that, folks. You know, once again, in order to be honest with anybody else, you got to first attempt to be honest with yourself. I'm going to say that again. In order to be honest with anybody else, you got to first attempt to be honest with yourself. And here it is right now. I don't know why this individual can't be honest with himself. And I guess that's the biggest problem. Because once again, like I say, I, anybody that know me right now is, guess what? It's a lot of things I don't know. Like I always tell people, I am not the smartest person in the world and I'm not the dumbest person in the world. And the difference is right now, everybody that know me, that been around me, know I've been doing my research because I've always been trying to get my stuff out there. But in the same token, for the most part, like when somebody contact me about doing Inside the Mind of a Killer, I didn't know who they was. They contacted me. A lot of people contacted me. And just like that individual, he contacted me. I didn't know nothing about him. And right now when he contacted me, and look what he say. Oh, I didn't know. I couldn't get in contact with you or whatever because you're in a witness protection program. You cartoon character. You thought I was in Atlanta. You want to meet with me in Atlanta. You want to meet with me anywhere I was at. So don't give me that nonsense. You thought I was in a witness protection program. Get out of here. Like I say, once again, when you contact me, you sent me word about the story, what you've been working on with some type of, you know, Tut and Mike Tyson or whatever. Come on. Even when you sent me the link to look at it, to me, I don't like your work. It was corny. So right now is once again, you was bitten during the same time Infomine got my story. And you know how Infomine? I found Infomine because an ex-girlfriend of mine sent me the link that he did a piece on Tut. And he made mention of me. And that's how I got involved in the first place. But when you constantly keep talking about, I reach out to you through WhatsApp or whatever, get the heck out of here, man. How many conversations we done had? And let's, you want, being that you got received, let's get Luke Steven involved. You and Luke Steven used to always undercut and talk about me, you know, indirectly. Y'all, come on, man. But yet and still, you can't be honest with yourself. What's so hard about that? Why it's so hard to be honest, man? Why you gotta be a professional liar, okay? Not only is, you know, like I say, from that, that point when a guy, come on, talk trash about me now. Come on, let's go, man. I'm not gonna fight you. But now you wanna get over here. That's why, you, you know what? You always write and check, but you can't cash it. Your butt can't cash it. So we'll leave it alone, man. You know what? Let me tell you something. And I'm ending on this note. And hopefully we never hear from each other again, man. I think you better let it go. Let it go, baby. Look like another love TKO. Let it go, man. Let it go. What difference does it make, man? How many years ago? That's many years ago. Once again, stop having that crab in a barrel mentality. And let's, if anything, let's try to see what we can do as a whole to put all that BS behind us, man. Get away from that nonsense. You know what? I got a better idea. Like I said right now is I can get in contact with Bimmy to try to get in contact with Haitian Jack. Now, imagine me and Haitian Jack can come together and then what? How you gonna feel about that? Mmm, I think you better let it go. Look like another love TKO.
I told myself time and time again, this time you're gonna win. But I know I'm fighting, things ain't right. I'm losing again. Boom, boom. Take the fool and lose twice. And start all over again. Uh, think I better let it go. Looks like another love TKO.